yeah. Well, this is slippery elm, which is, and it's funny because if you feel the leaf, it feels like sandpaper. It's raspy. And it's also, in layman's terms, misshapen the way the, the shoulders come off on the leaf. The inner bark is the part that's used on this. And in the south, it's hard to find big slippery elms because so much of it was cut out for food and as medicine. The inner bark will make a, a real slimy gruel that has the same food value as oatmeal. So if you had somebody with irritable bowel problems, but in particular people that had like a chronic wasting disease, they've been sick for a long time an invalid, you would put this in their diet because the body would break it down and digest it, get the food value out of it, and not as easily if their stomach was sensitive to having anything on it, reject it. So they'd get some nutrition, plus it, it is slimy. So from the mouth on all the way down and out, it coats everything. And that, that soothes, takes heat out. If you've got somebody with, say, irritable bowel problems uh, where the, the, that mucosal lining in the intestines is gone and scraped away and food's going down through and fecal material is scraping and keeping it raw and irritated and you can't get off that merry-go-round to heal, this coats that and sticks to it so that it's like Teflon and the food and fecal material go through and it gives it a chance for the body to, to catch itself to heal. Excellent plants to use for that. Very good as a paste for somebody that's, that's got um, hives or um, shingles. My mind is blank. Shingles. Very good for shingles. Doesn't cure the shingles. Use, there are other herbs to use for that, such as heal all and lemon balm, but it gives a lot of wonderful relief from the pain of the shingles. You just make a thick paste. When you eat it, it's, I won't say it's the best tasting thing. It reminds me of, of pencil shaving. No. But, it's, but it's very edible. The leaves, the, the, uh, the inner bark. The you inner have to find bark. a big. You have to find a bigger tree, and it's hard to find them now. But what you buy in the health food stores comes from up north, where you still see them. And occasionally, you'll see ones here about not that big. That's big enough to use. Um, it, but it's an excellent, excellent plant to use. If you go to the health food store or to Walmart, it used to carry them. They had what they called Thayer's throat lozenges. They were in a yellow box, and that was just slippery elm. Uh, lozenges and they because it coats and soothes. Daryl, could you make a paste out of uh, yellow root and put it on possibly uh, a <laughs> single? <laughs> 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 oh, that's right.